spinning. Whoa, we gotta be very, very delicate. Oh man. I'm thinking of a nice little road that may be surrounded by greenery going through here because people in this area would love that. And that will connect up to here. A wonderful, nice road for everyone to cruise on. And now, in this area, we will set up a high-tech park. Well, it's not going to literally be a park. It's going to be high-tech. Speaking of parks, we should make some of those, too. And there we have it. Our delicious, delectable, high-tech area. And just to channel traffic onto our main arteries, we are going to grass that up over there. And we are also going to grass it up down here. It's quite wonderful. It's quite wonderful how much grass we are having. All right, now that we have that, this is kind of a nice divider. Maybe not from this city, but just from a different part of this city. And now that I have that going on, hmm, what to build next? Oh, I did want to build a park. Didn't I just say that? So, oh, once again, autosave. I wish they had some sort of a non-square park. Let's go in an environment and see what they have here. A big park. It's not all that huge if you ask me, but you know what? We can afford to build more than one of these, I would think. But yeah, let's save that for later. I'm happy with our one big park for now. Our one big park and all its loveliness. And we are going to continue zoning on the other side. All right. Because executives really love our, really love Rupert, it seems. All right. There we go. We're going to snap one down here because people are going to want to sh go shopping near the intersection. I guess we'll have a few shops on our greenway because what's greenery without some shops? It's completely wasted space, you know? There we go. And what if we have a string of happy executives living right along the water? By a string, I mean one. <laughs> it's too close everywhere else. But no, we can put some over here, it seems. So there we go, a few, uh, a few executives living by the water. Resources. We have too many of them, but what are you worrying about with resources? Alright. Let's go to the trade menu. Rupert. New bootstraps. Oh, yeah, damn you, new bootstraps. Sullivan City. You don't have too much of anything. But yeah, we need to do something about our waste. 
continue to buy water. So, oh man. Well, we can do that. Give some waste to Omnicorp. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Omnicorp, we're not getting our waste. We are going to build our own dumps on the outskirts. Wow. This whole area is in serious trouble. Yay, I traded something for something. Okay, here we go. More housing for executives. Damn, those guys really want to move in here. So, junkyard. Yeah, look at that. And a dump. I feel, I really feel sorry for that guy. He's living right there. But, hey, you gotta listen to what Mr. Spock said. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Alright. I think we're gonna lose money on that, but we have a cushion to fall back on for a little while at least. Alright. Wow, what's your problem, guys? They need skilled workers. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to increase the span of our riverside um, thing. Nope, wrong. Just a regular small avenue. Come on. Oh, God. Yeah, this game and its memory dump problems, according to Dwyron, and they're very much, uh... They're very much real. And they're very much a pain in the ass, but what can you do, right? Arg. Build. Alright. So that road goes all the way to the edge now. Okay. And I am having trouble even scrolling around. But let us ignore that for the moment and continue building. And let's have some skilled workers living by the waterfront here. Whoa, hello. Okay, what we're going to do is... Step one, we are going to make a road. Over here. An actual road, not a little guy. Oh, what are you? What's your problem? I don't like the fact that it's green, not blue. Okay, now it's blue. And now we are going to uh, build it. Oh well, the um, orange rooftops make me think about uh, like we're in California. Because it seems a very southwestern California type thing to me. There we go. And now to fill in some of this stuff. Oops. Some medium skilled workers. Take all the room you need for your beautiful selves. Filling up our city. Wow, we're still losing money. 
They still need skilled workers. Ladies and gentlemen, our job is not yet done. We must add more skilled workers to this world. For what is the world without skilled workers? It is a world of proletariats. And we do not want that. Whoa, hello. Oh, executives, medium, medium manufacturers, bus lines, next step. Blah, 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 okay. It's quite wonderful, but this is getting a little bit too predictable. Don't know if I like predictable. So what we are going to do now is throw some unpredictability into the mix. We are going to take... And we are going to begin a small avenue that lines up with that. And how far can we make it? Huh. Now let's think about this. Pause. Nope, that's not pause. Pause button's really tiny. Now what if I did something like this? Oh man. For a minute there, I actually thought we were using something besides French tiles, but we are. We're using the French tile set here. So I hope you are none of you are Francophobes. to do that, which is fine. And we're going to have to do that. And let us just have that road end into there. And if anyone wants to continue on this way, they're just going to have to come down here. There we are. Well, if we continue this road like that, but we continue this road like that. Oh yeah. Now that's swanky. Swanky indeed. Swanky McGee. <coughs> All right, now I can build medium density executives. So let's do that. We can, so why don't we? to make a road that starts straight here and then derps like a bro over there. And why is that, I you might ask? No reason, I respond nonchalantly. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even need to... Um, 